please subscribe our channel education point and press bell icon to get notification of new educational videos. Hello everyone. Uh, today's lecture number is 58 and today I am going to discuss the chemistry of exercise in two segments and the topic is exercise prevents heart attacks and help diabetics. So first I am going to explain how the exercise is going to prevent you from heart attack. The recent publication by Harvard Medical School indicates that exercise prevents heart attack and they have mentioned that the exercise means the main emphasis is given on intensity of exercise. Intensity of exercise means if suppose uh, you are going for one hour and somebody is going for only 30 minute exercise. The one who is putting more stress and going faster and someone who is working very slow. So definitely he is not putting that much intensity. What the one who is going faster and sweating only in 30 minutes, that one is more beneficial to your heart muscles. And as you know, that heart is working for us 24 hours. Every second heart is working as a pump, is pumping blood. My question is, for how many minutes you are working for heart, very frankly. Once heart is working for 24 hours for you, you have to work at least for 30 minutes or one hour for heart. And that is called either gentle walking. And even in the exercise also, they have mentioned in that research paper that doing uh, vigorous exercise, heavy exercise is not going to help you much because we are not athletes and we are not going to attend some national uh, game or attend the Olympic. Our aim is just how to exercise so that our heart muscles becomes strong. So for that, the best exercise is walking. Walking with intensity is not very dull walking. It's not that much helpful. Intensity must be there so that you are stressed, your muscles are, I mean, having some uh, uh, pain, exhausted, and lot of blood circulation are going around muscles, it is taken from blood, lot of sugar, it is changed into energy. That is called real exercising. And that is the main thing. The secondly is that we have one heart. And when we are doing exercise, we are contracting, relaxing our leg. And in that contracting and relaxing our leg, lot of blood is squeezed and it is pumped to our heart. So lot of blood is going to our heart. So in that exercise time, we are having two heart. One heart is here in your leg, which you are using for walking or running or doing exercise, pumping the heart and the other one is here. So at that time we are having two hearts. One heart is in your leg and other heart is there. So both are pumping blood. So at that time, two hearts will be working in your body. So fitness refers to your Heart, your heart is a muscle. The only way to strengthen any muscle, including your heart, is to exercise. When you exercise, your legs contract your leg muscles, which squeeze the veins near them to pump blood from these veins towards your heart. When your leg muscle relax the vein near them filled with blood. This alternate contracting and relaxing of the leg muscle to act like a second heart which is playing very important role. So this is the, I mean, uh, chemistry behind it that once you are doing exercise and in the process of exercise, you know, lot of blood circulation, lot of oxygen intake is there. And that oxygen intake plays very important role. Lot of oxidation will take place and your free radicals will be consumed and your lot of energy will be 
convert a lot of glucose, sugar will be converted into energy. And that conversion into energy means, if that sugar into energy means energy plus water plus carbon dioxide gas. So it will make your muscles, your heart muscles stronger and relaxed. Yeah, in continuation, the chemistry for diabetics. So when we are doing exercise, after exercise in your blood, the triglyceride and bad cholesterol that is LDL, low density lipoprotein used to decrease, it decreases and also the exercise will activate your pancreas so that it will be having positive response to your cell and the metabolism of glucose is not possible in absence of oxygen because only in presence of oxygen the glucose reaction will take place and it is converted into energy, water and carbon dioxide. So once you are doing the exercise means your intake of oxygen in your blood will be very high and that intake of oxygen immediately the glucose will uh, take and the excess glucose in your blood will be converted into energy. So in your uh, blood the glucose level, the sugar level after exercise will be normal or it will it will be low if suppose you are suffering from high level of sugar in your blood that is called hyperglycemia it is very effective the exercise is very effective because with that exercise your muscles will need lot of uh, sugar and lot of sugar will be glucose will be supplied to your muscles and there it is converted into energy by combining with oxygen and in your blood the sugar level will be uh, reduced to convert into energy. So exercise helps the diabetics in many ways. It reduces the triglycerides and LDL in blood. Secondly, exercise helps reduce excess fat also. If somebody is suffering from obesity and there is lot of deposition of triglycerides, trans fat, exercise will make it to burn in the form of energy, what I have already told you, that will also reduce the excess fat and thereby increases body cell sensitivity to insulin. And ex this exercise will also increase the body cell sensitivity. It will become more sensitive, more responsive to your insulin, which is uh, released from pancreas. Exercise stimulates your pancreas to function better. Exercise will burn more sugar as we know in human body glucose cannot be metabolized without oxygen. So with oxygen the level of glucose in blood will be decreased. So this is overall impact of exercise for diabetic people. That's why endocrinologists they give lot of emphasis on two things. First, you do exercise. Because of exercise, your lot of chemistry is changed in your blood. Your blood excess glucose is converted into energy. Your pancreas will be activated and it will produce the insulin and your cell, body cells will be more responsive, more reactive to insulin. So this will in totality activate your body. You will take in oxygen intake will be more and that's why more sugar will be converted into energy in your muscles. Thank you very much.